12 out of 12 professional definitely definitely things things are fine <laughs> i don't know what happened uh, there may have been a windows update or something i don't know why obs was like hey let's not use your mic but we're on new england things happened like really fast <laughs> and all of a sudden we get the opportunity to come out of here so we're just gonna give it a look um actually you know before we do let's take a super quick look at the uh weapon customization the stream quality is bad you're bad it's probably because i had to end the stream and restart what's that does it look blurry why it shouldn't be everything's fine on my end it's like regular 6500 bit rate that looks normal to me i don't know fine for you i don't know what's going on everything's a mess i was gonna be hunting and now i'm not so weapon customization as you can see i've already done some stuff just to kind of take a look at what the different options were so i could give you guys a better idea of what to do with it oh i see that i said thank you for the 19 months hopefully uh feature alerts are gonna work it was probably when i was making things die it makes you sad. I know, it's an inline. I wish... So this is one thing. I went for initially, like a... What you might call a stainless steel look. And it almost looks like that in the customization screen. But then when we go and use the weapon, it's it's just not... And it doesn't say it's stainless steel. It's like a gray paint. But I was hoping it would look like that. But especially when we reload, you can kind of see it's, it's almost like a, a white. So what I think I'm probably gonna do is i don't know why so that looks weird for me too it's all like grainy there we go i think we're just gonna take the metal back to the default because i don't know what i don't know what else to do i like stainless steel on on inlines i think it looks good but it's just not an option we have here so future metal finishes maybe could be good for stuff like this but as for now we shall just take the metal off. Does the map come with the new weapons? Yes. Okay. Meant to do that. So we'll apply that. We will... I also did it for... This I don't mind as much. I think we'll keep that. And 22. That's yeah, fine. We'll go with it. So, let's go shoot things. There's so many species on this map. I still think, if I remember right, the only new one is Green Wing Teal, and they're very similar to the Eurasian Teal over on Revan Tuli. But I think the the map itself and the potential for Great One Grinding and all that is going to be fun. Watching on my phone and Xbox this is the first live I've made it to, and I wanted to comment, you're the only reason I still have the urge to play this. That's awesome, man. Appreciate you stopping by as well. Hope you're having a good day. Hopefully this will get things going a little bit as we head out. On New England. That skin was rough. What do you think? I'm a piranha. Are they the ones with rough skin? Wait, that's a... No. What's the Pokemon? That's a Pokemon ability. <laughs> I was about to be like, what? <laughs> Car Carvinar or whatever. And the shark. <laughs> it is a piranha. It's a piranha Pokemon. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is. Sharpedo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. This is, this is going great. <laughs> map looking pretty it's the first like really good in my opinion north american fall map because layton's kind of fall but it doesn't sell it as good as this map already does it's very similar to hirschfeld in my opinion pokemon piranha yeah you know same thing are there any new animals the only completely new animal is the green wing teal and i don't know if they're exactly the same as the eurasian teal over on riven but with a different name Maybe there are model differences. Uh, we shall see. By the way, this is driving me nuts. Can you guys see this? Very bottom of the screen. I hate it so much. I really hope they fix that sometime sooner rather than later. The mountains are pretty. Yes, they are. What's up, Rant? Kind of mad because I was doing my great one whitetail grind and revving to the coast. 1200 in and apparently I have to buy the map again. What? That seems odd. What happens that I hate? Look at the bottom of the screen. The binocular overlay doesn't fully... Like, it doesn't cover it all the way? I don't know why. 
but it, I strongly dislike it. It's gonna drive me nuts. I'm already considering making like a, a hotkey every time I right click to bring up a little black bar on the bottom of the screen and just cover that. Cause I feel like that would make it better watching wise. Max weight Bobcat track. Uh, watch while on lunch break at work. Looking forward to seeing this map. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm intrigued to see how this goes because um, I swear I heard something. Was it you? Might've been you. This was some of the old classic maps like early on in classics development. They were kind of like this where they came out. There wasn't really much new species wise, but there was a lot new terrain wise and, and exploration wise. And I want to see how it goes in Call of the Wild, because every time we've gotten a new map in Call of the Wild, it's been, you know, for the most part, everything is brand new. So I think it's going to be, you know, cool to see how it goes. But first kill, we have this new harvest screen here. I found this out by accident and full disclosure, I attempted to record a little video and I failed miserably, partially due to the mic not working. Um, but I found out you can back out of the harvest screen and the animal stays laying there. So, you know, how many times have you accidentally claimed something when you're trying to do something else? Now, let's say you were trying to, you know, set up a, a trophy shot of two animals laying there dead side by side or something, and you accidentally claimed? You can go away from that now. And of course, there's the inspect screen. This is going to be really nice for thumbnails. I think it's going to save a lot of Photoshop time. And there's, I mean, the detail in it. I don't know how well it's going to show up on stream because there's a bitrate limit and all that, but I mean, you can see... I don't know what, like, below the eyes has a little bit of a shimmer, like there's, like, some moisture there. I think it's really, really cool, but there's the x-ray view, of course, we can see the organs. I'm not as big a fan of it, but it's still very cool. I like that there's the ability to see that. I wouldn't mind if the harvest screen stayed as it was, and, like, the rest of the game still showed as it always used to. I keep forgetting I have to hit enter now, but it is what it is. You're a bit rate limit, thank you. The thumbnail quality gonna heck and improve? It really is, right? Great one, Black Bear Track? No. Can you imagine? <laughs> the feature looks awesome. I am a big fan of it. That, and again, that's... There's been a lot of, like, you know, confusion as to why EW would make an entire new map and then not populate it with new species. And I think kind of the obvious answer, as I'm not gonna shoot a, a bear with birdshot, is, you know, a lot of these other features, rather than, you know, having the time to make all the new animals and the models and the animations, is gone into making these new features. And I think it's a bit of a trade-off. And again, we'll we'll see how it goes. It's not something EW's ever done. And it's just gonna, I guess, be a matter of time till we see exactly what the result is. But I'm, I'm fairly happy with things, at least as of now, getting our first look. And we'll see if that continues to be the case. Are you gonna let me shoot you? I could only spot you. Kind of. Oh no, I think we did get along. It might be a little weaker than I expected. And I. You know, from the time that they started showing off anything to do with New England, I was in Tennessee hunting, and then it's been hunting season back home here in PA. I haven't gotten to see a lot of the streams with this. I only happened to catch the Great One stream. So, I don't know how good the muzzleloader is, but frankly. I kind of would have expected a little more than that. Like, just with the other muzzleloaders, it probably would have killed them quicker. Beagle do be right? What did Beagle say? I missed it. I love that you can reload that thing on the fly. Is that not how you reload a inline in real life? Hello. What are you? A bunny. A dead bunny. Hey, JW. What's going on, man? Okay, so... Eastern Cottontails? I don't think I knew these were on the map. Well, they are. Cool with that. Is the new muzzleloader class 4 to 8? Yes. And let's see where we hit. Because it could be that I was like far back or far forward. I was intestine, stomach, liver, so nothing crazy. I don't know that I like this. I like the old x-ray view better. I can still zoom in pretty close on this though, because I was worried. You look in the not this view. It's kind of far away. So let's see. Let's see uh, if we get to fire that muzzle a little more. How that goes. In the meantime, there's that 
bobcat track somewhere in the distance if we could ever find it. The bunnies look bad? I swear they were better on Mississippi. Like, I don't know if I'm just forgetting, but I thought they were better than that. I liked them initially. Any wolverines? Uh, no. The only new species is the green winged teal. Gotta click every bear track. Where did it go? Small. Oh, Danny. Uh, speaking of Wolverine, thank you so much for renewing your membership, man. 14 months, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. There's our bobcat track. Was that whole harvest screen, like, a bit pixely for anybody else? It was for you? It, it could be... The streams end, because I don't think it's pixely. It is, like... I feel like it's lacking something, because it's so... Grayed out. Okay, Shadow, just tear my <laughs> headset cord out, why don't you? What do you mean, no Wolverines? I was wondering if that question was related to you showing up in chat or not. Where did this thing go? It's like the most elusive bobcat ever. And if it was a Mexican bobcat, I'd be like, hey, we've had dozens of those. But it's kind of like the Puma Mountain Lion thing for me. It's sort of another species, so I'd like to find it. Why is the 223 and 243 weak in Hunter? It's because of game balance, basically, if I had to guess. Obviously, I'm not a developer, so I don't know exactly what their decision-making process is there, but they have to give you, like, a starting weapon of some kind. And they went with the 243, and in order to make some weapons better than the 243, the 243 naturally is just going to end up being a little bit weaker. What a weird direction that it ran in. It, like, cut back... Up along here. Great One Moose releases on the 6th with the new map indeed. Should be exciting times. And that's something too. We're almost into Moose Drink time. If we can find this Bobcat, maybe that will be a, a decent chunk of what we do today. Just try to find some Moose. See if this is a prime candidate for Great One Moose grinding map or not. How did you get all the money? Uh, just from a lot of time playing the game. I have, at the moment, 5,800 hours in this game, so it just kind of adds up. I don't know yet, Tux. It may be this one. We'll see. I hear the ducks. Where are they? I wanted to see what they look like. Hello? With this awful binocular thing? I don't see him. Uh, Bottom Boy, thank you for the 26 months. Welcome back. When dad calls to talk to you, you gotta answer, but I'm back. That's that's absolutely it. Especially when the season's in. You never know what kind of new information you're gonna get. Wheel. Lots of hours. Is there red deer in the mountains? There are not. I just saw... Was that Maine? So... You just scared me because that's... <laughs> sounded like a red deer, but it was a moose? Did you? Could you guys hear that well, like, over the music and stuff? Did it sound like... A red deer to you? Because that sounded like a red deer to me. I was reading something or saying something. Right? Oh, yeah. I read an article recently where, like, a red deer escaped from a farm. I swear it was in Maine or something and a guy shot it. But other than that, it's not a thing in this game. You heard a red deer there as well? I don't know. Do you guys remember when... I think it was red deer. They were doing elk calls for a while. I wonder if something got swapped there. What animals are on the new map? I don't even know that I have the whole list, to be honest. We'll have to kind of find out as we go. That, that ain't a moose. That's a red deer. <laughs> I think something got screwed up there. Pretty sure we're somewhat gaining ground on this bobcat, wherever he has gone. Down through the brush there, maybe towards the lake. You shot a wolverine in Maine? That's pretty cool. I don't think I knew they were in Maine. Like, I kind of knew they were out west, but I didn't know they were in the far northeast. Is that it there? That's a flower. I got a rock. Red moose has a nice ring to it. Hey, we got the uh, oak-colored great one moose. That's kind of a red moose. Oh my, okay. That's fine. <laughs> At least it was worth the drag. 27 to 29. So, again, like I was saying... And I don't know if our progress saves or not. To me, this is like a separate species. This isn't the... Even though their models are exactly identical to Mexican Bobcat. 
Like, I consider this a, a diamond that we'll have to get eventually. What's diamond score? Isn't it 20... Is it 27.6? 27.8? That's decent enough odds, except he's just forever fleeing, I guess. Big meal! Huh? Almost like he doesn't want to get shot. Ooh, that sun glare, though. You gonna stop? No? Alright, see ya. I guess we'll give him, like, a few minutes to come back out? Like, we just watched him go a full hundred meters. From some, like, he's gotta be back in there. Yeah, let's sit here and see if he comes out. 27-7, I think? Apparently, we can't keep progress. Oof, not again. Hit the middle links on, uh... Revan Tuli. I'm gonna still hope for the best, but... Name him Bob? Bob the... Oh, cat. I get it. <laughs> the glare is horrendous. It was pretty bad. Did I miss your membership? I did. Thank you for the 28 months, Danny. Why did only Wolverine show up in my alerts? Yours and Bottom Boys did not. How strange. This is already giving me... Flashbacks to the first... Level 9 Mexican Bobcat we had on Rancho. Because I tracked it for forever. I crashed like four times because multiplayer was a big issue. Ended up getting it, but... Maybe they don't come back? Because lions don't come back. And I know... Some parts of their, like, AI and stuff have to be the same because they spook things now as well. Much like lions do, like, when they walk past a herd of springbuck, they all take off. So do we just follow it? I guess. The moose call sounds so strange. Yeah, it's like a red deer. I don't get it. The only question is, like, you know, were they trying to implement new red deer audio as well? And some, you know, the wires got crossed and... And, uh, Moose are making that sound now? I'm gonna have to go back and, and watch, because I know we got to see the Moose aggressive sounds on the W stream with Jax appeared, and, and they seem to be fine. Very fret. Like, I feel like we're getting far behind that guy quick. Lion equals mountain lion equals cat equals bobcat. They're all the same thing, really. If you disbelieve. Make it a video, kill it later, and come back? Mmm, we could. Let's see, oh, let's, let's see. Oh. Okay, he's literally right there calling at us. Couldn't call him in if I wanted to, because he's nervous. Wait. I thought I saw... I'm very confused. Yeah, that's it there. Okay. But he's walking away? Ugh. That was such an opportunity. Okay, mark that. That's not at all where I marked. Excuse me. Why is it down there? Alright, well, it's fine. I guess we're going to have to follow it slowly, because it doesn't appear to be coming back. Missed anything crazy? We're actually on a legendary bobcat, which they have the exact same models as the Mexican bobcat over on Rancho, but it's the same, in my mind, it's the same as Pumas and Mountain Lions. They're the same but different, and probably interchangeable in multi-mounts. There's a coyote bobcat multi-mount. But either way, like it's, it's a diamond that I want to get like I'm treating it as a diamond we don't have so I want to make sure we can get him and he just went down over like that little rise depending on how fast he's moving I kind of don't think he'd be all the way through there just yet the wind is fine I'm trying to remember as well that marker is not correct he was more like there I think uh, Brant, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Can you use brown bears for black bear mounts? Unfortunately, no. Those are not interchangeable. Tired of my back hurts. Aren't we all? Did he really scoot through there that fast? 
getting to think he did. If he did, though, he should be, like, up in there. I guess it's not that far. Does anybody remember the Warthog on Verhunga? That's the way this is looking. Do moose go aggressive? With this update, they will. So, on Tuesday, when the update drops, moose will go aggressive. And we'll attempt to get one to do that today at some point if we can. Um, hard to say if we'll be able to do it. I don't know just how, like, aggressive they are. Is it going to be, you know, water buffalo aggression and they charge from 100 meters away? Is it going to be bear aggression where you basically got to get within 10? I don't know. But we'll attempt to find out. Go slap a moose butt? Yeah, it's a good idea. Alright, if we don't get him on this... Like, we're going to intentionally spook him, obviously. If we can't spook him into the open and get a shot, we'll just have to, you know, come back. He must have been really hauling, though, because it says walk, but... Oh, hello. Where was he? Was he blending in with the rock? <laughs> uh, I know, me too, dude. How far should I place my tent for my drink zones? I go, like... 220-ish, if possible. Have you killed a moose yet? Not yet. We will soon attempt. They begin to drink here in about 15 minutes. And I know they're around because we've had a couple of warning calls from them. And they sound like red deer, which is just... odd. Quail all around, that's for sure. That should be fun, too, because they, uh... I don't know if they're changed or fixed. That was new. I saw the blood fall out of it. I've never seen that before. I kind of like that. Alright. We'll take the good with the bad. Moose sound like red deer and now blood falls from the sky when you shoot a quail. That's not new? I think it is. Like, I've seen the... The dust, but there was actual blood there? It's definitely not always been a thing, but maybe it's with the, the waterfowl rework? Nah, that's new. That's definitely new. I've played this game too much for you to trick me with that. <laughs> it happened with pheasants? Not like that. Deaf new. Yeah, get out of here, Beagle. <laughs> I don't know if you're tricking me or not. <laughs> that's so much blood, that was a lot. Holy <laughs> Where are you? Cut left, kinda? How do we not see it? Oh, there it is. Can you please stop and let us shoot you? It would just be... Just be such a kind... Present from this new... Lovely map that you're on, Sir Bobcat. Turn into Red Mist? What was the name of it? Mist Survival? Wasn't that a game? Please stop. That was kind of stopping, but it wasn't what I wanted. Are you going to do that a lot? Just twice when I'm not aiming at you? Cool. I can kind of still see. Let me spot you. If we can just keep them spotted long enough. Because typically, I don't think they run that terribly far. I'm beginning to second guess that, but still going. There's still an opening here. Ah, missed getting the spot him though. I thought I saw him again. Might not have that time. Moving shot, do it. You won't, I, well, I definitely won't now because I lost him. This dude's got 112 evasion stat. Uh, Wolverine, thank you for the super chat. Can you try the new sight marking with the binos? How do you do it? I don't actually know. Is it middle mouse? Uh, what did that do? Oh, that auto zooms out. I don't know how to do that. Uh, Brant, thank you for the super chat once again. I really appreciate the support. How do we... Hmm. 
Would it be in UI? I'm sure somebody knows how to do it. You passed it? You passed it. It's the R key. I would have never guessed that. It's oddly not exact. It's close enough. I mean, it's within a couple of meters. Huh? Classic is a little more accurate, I would say. It's mapped to R. I mean, I guess it is a key that you can quickly reach at any time while, like, you know, using your binoculars and potentially moving around. In the meantime, has that bobcat, like, you know, decided to give up yet? Thought it was Twitch today. Typically it would have been, but this is a special occasion. I actually had a completely separate video. I wasn't going to stream it all today. I was just going to hunt in real life. Um, that had been the plan for the entire week. And then early access happened, and... Luckily, I didn't hunt this morning anyway, but now, I was planning on hunting this evening still. We'll see what happens. We're going to stream till about 2 o'clock and make a decision then. That's not even the same one. How did it get through here without... This dude is... Hairball Houdini. Didn't I name the last bobcat that? I think I did, and then maybe I didn't actually make the title that. Didn't miss much this morning. You know that, is it HuntWise, the app you have? Apparently it's like super low percentage today, and it's probably because the temperature went back up. Yesterday was pretty decent. I'm, a simp I'm simple, and that's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most. I'm going to have to get used to making use of it, because it, it's definitely going to come in handy. I love that. That is so... It's a little maybe overdone for a quail, but it's definitely realistic to see the blood, like, drop from the sky. I want to say, and, you know, call me crazy, but I feel like they've taken a lot of inspiration from Way the Hunter here. Like, there's a couple of things I've seen already that's Way the Hunter-esque. The, the harvest screen thing? Should we shoot it on the move? God, I don't want to mess it up. I can't even see it with a glare. <laughs> it's too angled. If it would go broadside, maybe. Uh, Danny, think of the super chat. See any antlers in real life? I saw a pretty decent one on Tuesday night. It was only a two-year-old. It, it was one that I wanted to pass. And then we saw... I've seen two different six points that were young-ish that I passed. Nothing big. I bleed more when shot than it has fluid in its body. What now? Is the glare new? It's like... It's not new, because I remember it being a thing before, but it's reworked, perhaps? And probably overdone? <laughs> what can I say, Soup? It's, it's human nature. Or male nature. In my nature. I'm trying to, like... Because I guess we're going to attempt to shoot it on the move and probably screw it up. But uh, I'm trying to get a little bit to the side at least to like make it possible. And he's just like, nah, sorry. Not really going to get... <laughs> Not really going to give you that shot as he's finally going sideways and then just turns straight away. Sometimes these big woods are enough to get a shot opportunity. You're doing great, Shadow. Appreciate you. Shoot it on the run, you'll be fine. Bobcats are weird, like, they're not like other predator species like foxes and coyotes and jackals and stuff, where, I'm gonna say, like, their spine is straight. Bobcats, like, their hind end sits higher, so it's kind of awkward to, to line it up on the fly. I don't know how to describe it, but, like, the way that I'm kind of lining it up is I'm looking ahead of it and then trying to get my shot placement right, and it can just mess with me since, like, they're... the Front shoulders and, and hind legs aren't on the same level. Squeaky Doggo doing what she does. Alright. This might be it. It might be time. I hate the angle so much. 
No. <laughs> I'm too scared. If you pick up an animal, press escape. Yeah, we were we were looking at that. I like that a lot. This is my first live. I'm glad you can make it, man. This is a pretty monumental one with the new map and all the changes with the game. There he is down in there. How long can he flee for? Like it can't can't just go forever. I still see you. Don't think you're getting away. You've made me invest too much time. You've caused this. Can you please stop though? Like, that would be great. It's a knack for going straight away. He's not gonna let me do it, is he? There's so much open ground, and then he just. Mm. <laughs> he just covered. I'm. Alright. This is it. We're gonna catch up to him and shoot him on the move. I'm giving up. Mel thinks, and she's probably correct, that we won't be able to keep our progress anyway, so if it's screwed up, it's it's all good. I would like potatoes in Call of the Wild. I mean, potatoes really are the ultimate root, I guess. Is that what they are? A root vegetable? Would be cool if they added a Wrist Breaker DLC, Snub Nose, Revolvers, 454 and 450, maybe a 500. I've always... Alaskan Adventures had a 500 uh, Smith & Wesson that was one of my favorites, and I always kind of wished Call of the Wild would do that. Alright, lad, you keep going that way. I'm going to go down here. We're going to meet in the middle. Triangulation or something. And we're going to score a touchdown. Ready? Cool. <laughs> that could have been a lot easier. Need a silencer DLC? There's a lot of discussion about that, and I'll, I'll jump into that in a second after we take a look at this bobcat that made us chase it for like 20 minutes. But I I would like it if it was done a particular way. About freaking time. Tell me about it. Wait till it trolls, right? Ha! <laughs> 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 no! Missed it by... Oh, good. Point zero <laughs> six. Thanks, Mr. Bobcat. You're really cool. I like you a lot. You're my best friend. I wonder why they had the, like, the little particle floaties in here. Look at that grin. He knew what he was doing. Trolling me like that. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> now I really hope we don't keep our prog progress. Bobcats are dumb and I hate them. <laughs> now when someone redeems emotional damage, right? <laughs> uh, he's got wonky eyes, he did. So the one good thing that happened there was we got perfectly into moose drink time, so let's see if we can find some of them. All that running, you probably lost the weight. You're probably right. Lost a couple ounces there, and that was enough. I love the fall colors. Aren't they great? That's why I went with the... That's not it. The fall camo on our muzzle loader. I think it just fits. Go take out the frustration on the majestic red moose. That do be the plan. I would like to think they'd drink at a lake like this. Probably a lodge right there, too. So we'll probably go and get that. What kind of water does this map have? A little bit of both. It's got like a... I guess you'd call it a river system. It's almost like creeks that run all through the map. And then you've got quite a number of decent-sized lakes. Now, my hope is, at least when it comes to black bear, that maybe they spend more time drinking at the lakes themselves. And, you know, that remains to be seen, but... If we're going to do a great one black bear grind here, it's going to have to be mostly lakes. I think the rivers would make it too difficult, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. You better be a level one. Well, oh, the bobcat probably spooked that. That makes sense. So the muzzleloader can zero to 150, right? If I could just get the right weapon, that'd be good. Uh, yeah, 75, 150, and... 100? Those are some odd distances, but okay. Ghost Vibes, thank you so much for the super chat and super sticker. I really appreciate it. 
I wanted to go for a heart shot, but maybe we just try to smoke that one in the lungs when it goes broadside again. I wonder where we hit it, because it died pretty fast. Like, compared to what we saw with the black bear. Didn't do too poorly. There's a male black bear track. Why would Bobcat spook moose? That's a good question. Um, probably it wouldn't really bother one in real life. I think if a bobcat was, like, chasing one around, it would spook, but I don't know that they would, you know, flee if they just saw one. There's a bull. Let's see. Oh, my God. I gotta put that in a different slot. That's terrible. I keep just getting the shotgun. Let's see if we can get... Never mind. I was gonna try to get the lead right, but if he's just gonna get stuck... Do we hit the brush? He looks hit. Not well, but he looks hit. I actually can't tell if he's hit. It could have been since he was stuck that the hitboxes were kind of in the way. There's the bear. Yeah, that time we didn't hit him. Hey, <laughs> Moose, come back. I gotta reload. Just, just, just wait there. Did it even hit? I, I don't think it did. Bear's gonna get away, too. I like the muzzle loader, but it's probably not ideal for running around spooking everything. Where'd he go? That glare is pretty rough. Got the bear. Not well, <laughs> but it's it. Heck, that reload. Yeah, it's probably... It kind of falls into the same category as the other muzzleloader, although I found, at least at first, that, like, the other muzzleloader was so powerful, like, there was a reason to use it. This one, I'm not getting the impression that it's, like, super overpowered. Hmm. That could have been my fault. That was a little low. Oh, no, we... Wait. We did hit the moose the first time. Yikes. It ain't... It ain't quite the, uh... The other most loader. It, it, the cap lock seems to be way more powerful. Got the bear barely. I see what you did there. Imagine if you find an initial spawn. Great one, moose. It'd be really sad, because I'm pretty sure we don't get to keep our progress here, but it would be pretty sweet. Ghost Vibes, thank you again for the super chat. Your stream is the highlight of my day. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks for stopping in and for watching today. Especially on a very much non-scheduled stream, although we're close to the regular time. An oof, Malone. So where'd we hit the cow, then? Oh, right. Just smoked it in the heart. They do look good. I don't know if they've changed anything. I think it's just the old model still getting used to, but they sound like red deer. And I just don't like it. So did we kill the bear or the moose? One of them died. Does the muzzleloader have two ammos? It's got polymer and I think hollow points. I'm running the polymer tips just because, you know, typically you just want to hit a lung and, you know, make sure you get the the vital thing. You can count the pixels? It's so weird. Like, it's not pixelated on my end. Oh, no, not again. Another Maxway Bobcat track. What do you guys think? Do we leave that or do we track it? <laughs> Does it bother you? I haven't gone to the lookhouse. We're trying to kill all the things that we can in a two hour span. I rhyme. Leave it, track it. <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. Look at it! Can't be trolled twice? Probably not, but we could have like a level 7 max weight that we spend that long following. So... Where do we take the second shot at the moose? Oh. Okay, so I think it's the moose that's dead. Welcome back, Landon. Shoost it, leave it, please. 
send it. We'll see how long it takes to track the moose. Because I do want to kind of keep following moose and look um, for more zones for them. And then the other thing is, I wouldn't mind getting to take a closer look at the new whitetail models as well. You'll never know unless you find it. You're not wrong. Still burning from when you showed the water? Wait. When I showed the water? I'm confused. Info on the green wing teal? I saw a flock fly over right as I was getting ready for the stream. I couldn't even tell if they were any different uh, than the Eurasian teal over on Ribbon Tule. So, if we can find some, if any will fly over, I'll, I'll do my best to smoke one and, and we'll take a look. But I don't have much to go on just yet. I'm from New Hampshire, so I can't wait for this map. Ooh, I bet. Probably is as close a thing to, you know, hunting at home that you'll get in the game. Uh, go. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. What's the release date? December 6th. So we are four days away. Tuesday, I think it is. Map looks great. It does. It's, it's optimized very well, too, because one, I don't know if it's the birds or what, but one thing that I noticed on Rev and Tuli that happened a lot, I really would have areas where I would just struggle with FPS, and I didn't get that on the maps. This one, like, it looks really good. The vegetation's fantastic and stuff, but I don't struggle with FPS. The sheer amount of shaded area on the map? <laughs> was that Quattro? I think it was. You were talking about the shaded area or the shadows or something and just confusing me so bad. So, too far forward, I guess that's on me. And then too far back. Alright, I can't really blame the gun there. We'll have to find another one and see how it does. So, let's go back then. There's a lake right outside the... One outpost that we have? Oh, I forgot. Uh, there was probably one right beside us. Wish they added a shotgun on this map instead? Yeah, I don't mind the muzzleloader because, like, a lot of people were a bit disappointed with the cap locks as opposed to the inline. But, by the way, that loading screen was lovely. Um, yeah, like a shotgun. We've got quail, we've got rabbits, we got turkey. Are there pheasants on this map? There are, right? Like, there's, there's a bunch of stuff we could shoot with shotguns. Fast travels for suckers. I'm just trying to shoot some things, man. A semi-auto 12-gauge, and that's what I was thinking of. Classic. They were very careful about adding one for a bunch of years. Like, if they added a semi-auto, it was a 20-gauge. If they did a new 12-gauge, it was always a pump or, like, a over-under or a side-by-side. -side. They finally did a semi-auto 12-gauge, and I think it's probably the most popular shotgun in the game. I didn't even... Were, were there junk cards and stuff? I didn't even notice it. I, I completely just... I was probably looking at the chat, to be honest. Oh, there's a deer. Let's take a look at those fancy schmancy new models. Got my first diamond on Ribbon Tule. A uh, European Lynx. There you go. Or Eurasian Lynx, even. If fast travels for suckers, then call me dumb dumb. I get it. Ooh. I like the... Ooh, that one's big, though. I like the lighter color. Are you a diamond down there, sir? I don't think. I think it's a 240 rack. Get up here. Oh, big male. That's the kind of ones I see in real life these days. That might be a three. Nah, it is. It is a 240 rack. I like them. The narrower face makes a huge difference. I actually thought they looked a little bit off, like, in the previews and stuff, but... I don't know, I think they did pretty good. Very much dead. Good news. Saw raccoons in the trailer? They are on this map, too? I Seriously, I don't have a clue how many animals are on this map, but it seems to be a lot. It's mostly old stuff. Almost exclusively old stuff. But there's a ton of it. That's a white-tailed deer. I would still argue the face is a touch short, but it's way better. I like it. 
The eyes are better, the nose is better. Like I said, still just a, a touch short in the face, but the more slender face really helps. Can I? No, I can't inspect from this screen. Oh, I can't move it now? I'm not sure about that, but we have the inspect option, so not a big deal. Why are you like this? How do I, why are you tilted? Don't be tilted. Oh, it's a little awkward to control. I do think that's significantly better. New animal models are on point. They've been doing a really good job, like going back to... What's the first thing to get him? Red Deer had like the neck scruff added. Um, and then there was... Whitetail had the tail improvement to begin with. And then we had Black Bear, Brown Bear, Moose. All of them just are way better. They've done a good job. No Mesa this lake, we did just shoot a gun, so... Might be partially responsible. I bet these are mission related. Ducks, we're ducks. I need to shoot you. I see you. Uh. I don't think that's the right kind of duck. Yeah, I thought those sounded like GoldenEye. I didn't even know they're... Does anybody know the total amount of species on this map? Because I keep finding ones that I didn't know were here. Why are white tail moose on almost every new map? It's only, what, Reb and Tui that they've both been on. Or are you saying either? Nice shoes, thank you. 15, 16? I don't hate it. I think that might be teal, though. I thought I heard another kind of duck. Is it these? Yeah, it is. But they're probably too far. They're bigger than Eurasian teal. So I'll give them credit, you know, there. I'm, there's no way we're going to hit one of these. I'm trying to find a male. Woo, now they're speeding up. Well, good thing I shot the wrong duck when they flew over. May or may not get to see them. There's mallards out here. Did moose home ranges get changed, like on other maps? I don't know, but it would probably make sense given the fact that the great ones are added. I would like to think they'd do something like that. Did Birdshot get sped up? I didn't hear of anything like that, but maybe? Did they change the water? I think it looks largely the same. Doesn't look like old Call of the Wild Water. My graphic settings might be a little bit low from a stream recently. Let me see. Let me just put it on Ultra Preset. I might lag slightly. Nah, it still looks the same. Send me your teal. Are you guys teal? I think they are, but they're not shootable. We can change that command at some point, by the way, because it's 5,800 now. Oh, you buggers. They're so fast. There's a negative 12% chance I'm hitting one, unless they're down low. It kind of looked like the same flock. I saw the same estimate. You're a mallard. I don't know. I don't, I don't think we should spend that much time chasing dogs I'm not going to hit. How long has this been? The stream? 49 minutes. Them birds beyond speed, they, they have the speed. Bear track. Not a great one. Do you have teal decoy? Um, I could go and get them. We could do that. Let's look for moose for a little bit longer while it's their drink time. And then maybe we'll set up and try to bring some teal in. I don't know. If, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be the Eurasian teal decoys to hunt them. How long do you plan on streaming? Probably another hour and 10 minutes or so. What? Oh, there's some lag getting into the trees. We'll go back to high preset just to save the, uh, save the frames. Um, what was the question? When's the map coming out? Tuesday, December 6th. How often do you stream? So my streaming schedule is kind of all out of whack at the moment because of real life hunting season, but it's really going to be after Christmas, because once hunting season ends, and then I got to get ready to go uh, spend Christmas with Kyla's family, and then 
coming back from that. So after Christmas, the streaming schedule will get back to normal. But it's typically Monday at 3 p.m. here on YouTube. And then Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. and Fridays at 1 p.m. over on Twitch. Are whitetails getting reset? I don't think. I think it's just... Oh, they said what it was. Moose are getting reset, right? And I thought something else was too. Shot a seven point today. There you go. Congrats, man. Had a teal knock off my hat. It's kind of epic, to be honest. I live in Finland. Uh, too, so my words are not good, but I try my best. Hey, I can understand it. No worries. Bighorn on Rancho? Wait, what? I don't want anything to do with any bobcats. What? Wait, are you saying... Oh, God, the resets. Yeah, Mouflon are definitely getting reset. Literally, I say something, and then I might as well have not said it, because I forget immediately that I said it. Surprise indeed. What's going on, Sam? What are the new species? So, you could argue that bobcat are new because they're not Mexican bobcat, but they're literally the exact same thing, just named bobcat. So, you know, make it that way you will. We also have green wing teal, which we just got to see. They're bigger than the Eurasian teal over on Reventuli. I did not get to shoot one, so remains to be seen if they're a, a new model or not. I think that's it, though. A ton of species from older maps all on this one here, which I think... Pretty good odds that kind of makes this the ultimate North America map. We shall see. But that may be what this map really has going for it. Like, if there's one of those species, be it black bear or whitetail or moose, uh, you know, this may be the map to hunt it on. There's a couple of meese down there. So the rivers may be good. Oh boy, the rivers really may be good. I think he's confused. That's okay. We don't judge around here. Mmm. So, rivers typically aren't good for grinding purposes. It just is not as efficient, but we got our great one whitetail on Leighton with all of its river systems. And if they're as common as we're seeing here, you know, every couple hundred meters, that actually can be good. This will be interesting. I want to fish that river. You're a fish. Do moose drink at Copper Bowl Lake in Yukon? Yes? I think. Ooh. There's a whole lot of meese down here. That was a moose, not a red deer. <laughs> I like it. Wait. But why is it warning calling? Oh, hello. It's you. So is it only female that are screwed up? Don't you trot in front of my shot. What? Why did that not hit? No, it did hit. I think. That sure looked like it should have been a heart shot. Can you hunt wolves on Medved after? I'm probably going to save that for a little bit further down the line. We'll see, though. We'll see when we have time to check it out. I do want to see where they're at, though. Like, just what kind of home ranges they have. Did Mies animations get changed up? It seems that way, like their wounded animation and stuff seem to be different. I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna grind moose with a muzzleloader. Oh my god, hello. Slightly bigger male. Moose, Mies, who knows? New animations look so good. It's... I like that they're taking that approach, like... The species that are maybe the most special now with great ones and stuff have the extra realism side of things with the animations. I... I don't... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I have confuse. I'm not thrilled by the layout of the stock. It is almost... Like, over-under shotgun stock. Almost. 
The first moose didn't die, so it's not like we hit a lung. Deers. Can I kill a deer at least? You're right, I can't. I hit it. What did I miss? Um, well, we started off with a troll bobcat that chased us around the New England mountains for about 20 minutes, or we chased it around. Then we got on to checking out the whitetail models. Then we started looking for moose, and we're finding moose, but they're like not caring when we shoot them. I can't tell if it's a muzzleloader thing or a moose thing, though. Next one, we shoot broadside. Because I... I'm confused. That gun is soft. It's something, dude. I can't... quite place it. Okay. You're... You're the candidate for the smoke. This dud of a muzzleloader? I hope it's not a dud, but it's starting to... Not look the best. Ooh, that shake was... I like that. Realism is good. Something's off with, like, the hit animation, though. That's pretty realistic. Like, I like that. Moose, when they're hit, they kind of... They don't full-on sprint, really. They do sort of trot like that. But when they get hit, they're they're not acting right. They have a shield? It looks like it, doesn't it? Have you tried the new gun yet? That is what we're firing right now. You kind of like the new hit animation? Maybe I'm not seeing it right. Because to me, it looks like nothing happens. But maybe I'm missing it? Am I flinching at the trigger pull? I watched back. I shot it there on Sunday. I don't know if I posted that anywhere. Well, I did that, and I watched the, um, the GoPro footage back, like, the part that was filming me. And I don't know if I, like, I went to shoot, and then I didn't do it, but I flinched real bad. And then, like, the actual shot, I didn't flinch. But it made me worry. I didn't think I flinched. Are you supposed to remove the dead cat before reloading an inline? Are you saying you're supposed to remove the dead cat before, like putting the powder and new sabot in it, because I would say yes. It's not a new if it's fine for an inline. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it's... It's not as powerful as the cap block. Unless they've changed that too. It ain't bad. You know, it's... Penetrating almost center body. I like that reset view thing. Like, if you get it at an angle and can't fix it, just reset. Cool. Alright. We will continue our way down the river a little bit more. I'm going to attempt a heart shot again. We're going to get, like, right to 150. We're going to get everything right. See if that one hits. What map are you going to grind for a great one? I'm actually... See, I was opposed to the idea of grinding the river, but... I'm starting to like it. One thing that's never been as feasible with the other Great One species was something like this because, like, you know, could a herd of whitetail be up in these trees and you and you don't see them? Yeah, pretty easily. Could a herd of moose be up in the trees and you don't see them? Pretty good chance you see them. They're just huge, you know. Have I been pronouncing Sabbat wrong my entire life? I think the correct... Because it's French, right? I think the correct pronunciation is Sabo, actually. But most Americans say Sabbat. Do they really sound like Red Deer? The cows sound like Red Deer for some reason. The bulls sound fine. Oh yeah, 60 FPS for a console, right? That's a big deal. I, I don't know what you just said, Soup, but I saw it. It is Sabo? 
I don't know. I remember hearing that somewhere. We say sabbat because it sounds like rabbit. <laughs> I like it. Do we know what animal they added to SRP or are they waiting for the next update? Um, I... Yeah, I didn't hear any changes. I'm kind of glad they're not blue doing Blacktail. That didn't make a lot of sense. Not to say I don't want Blacktail on another map, but it just, you know, it's got to be a good fit. It means shoe in French? Well, yeah, like the bullet's your foot. The sabo is the shoe. Is that, is that actually, like, why they use that word? It might be. When is the New England map supposed to come out? December 6th, Tuesday. Very soon. I'm trying to decide, like, what I'm going to do, by the way, as far as content for the weekend, because I'm going to sit all day tomorrow, so I probably have to record a video on this one when I get home. We might stream Sunday. Like, Sunday morning? I'll put something out, like, on the community tab as, like, a official content schedule. Something's up with the frontal hitboxes. Like, I promise I know how to heart, heart shot a moose. <laughs> a multi-mount? It's not what you're expecting. Do you guys want to see the multi-mount? Because I'm probably going to get a different gun. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I don't know if it's the gun or the moose, though. I want to try another another gun. I see you over there. That's one yes. Welcome back, Brent. Uh, no, there's not going to be greater kudu on Verhunga. That was like a... Beard said he was reading off the wrong list or something, unfortunately. Yes, please. Got another yes. Time to let the 300 eat. Yeah, that's what I want to try. Ooh. Okay, I thought that was a five. All is well. That alert animation is pretty good. I'd argue it's very good, in fact. Listen, sir, out there, 12 years away. I'm gonna need you to relax. You didn't hear that? Go alert. Okay, I don't even know if I can hit that. That's not the right gun. I don't know if I can hit that far away, but I'm gonna try. I do think we hit him. I can't promise we hit him well. He's not dropping. And that's fine, because we're going to the trophy lodge. It was worth a try. So... I'm trying to think. So th this save is from the handgun uh, DLC thing. The last early access. Let's just go to this lodge, because we have space in here. <laughs> it seemed to cause quite the stir, bottom boy. When is the new update coming? On Tuesday. Alright, there's a new multi mount. Let's see what it is. Ooh, let's look at the whitetail, though. This isn't the right lodge to look at the whitetail. We'll look at them in a minute. Oh god, why are the antlers doing that? Um, there's something with, like, head bob going on in the antlers. I'm not sure about that. You should show the multi mounts. I think there's only one new one, right? Gonna come back to a bunch of dead meats. Hey, that's fine. As long as they're dying. Okay. Multi mounts. See if we can find it, because I don't know what it's called. None of those. None of those. Is it at the bottom? Nope, it's this. Music to my ears. <laughs> Is this the only one? One new mount. Is it? I kind of like it. It's a moose and a quail. Let me find a rare moose. Do I have a big rare moose? They'd probably all be mounted, right? Uh, this one's not bad. And random quail. It's very cute. Hmm. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> you know? Oh. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Does that happen if you run up to it? It does. Okay. So, from a distance. Uh, 
I don't like that the quail disappears. It's like it's like a child looking at a butterfly. They really went for it on this one. Is it dead? Is it supposed to be dead? Its eyes are like half open. Hmm. Can't promise I'm going to use that one. They aren't on the same map? No, they are. They're both on New England. Uh, what was I going to do? I wanted to look at the great one multi-map we have in the main lodge. Tanker, thank you for the super chat, was on Yukon, shot a troll level 5 moose, but went back and cleared level 4 later than was time. And imagine that. That's some solid luck right there. Alright, moment of truth. What do these new whitetail look like? With the rares and stuff. I like the piebald. It does work better on this. I really, I think it's going to be odd to see the great one not look exactly like what it used to. I do like it. The albino is kind of, I don't see the difference. Like it kind of looks the same as it has since Rancho. I didn't know quail were on New England either, Hatcha. I really didn't. I was running around the map and heard a quail call. I was like, oh, okay. They look a lot better. Yeah, the uh, the fat face thing has been solved. Okay. So, I got about 45 minutes. What I want to do, because I don't know the next time we're going to find an odd, uh, an odd, that's what they're called, an outpost. We're going to ditch this. I might hang on to the 22. Da, da, da. We're gonna get. Yeah, the Eurasian teal color does attract green winged teal. And I got to buy the decoys. Probably. No, there are special green winged teal decoys. That may mean. That it's like a separate model? And we have room for the water blind, I think. I think it's a little lighter. If only I own one. Yeah. Da, da, da. Okay. And then, did I get a gun yet? I did not. 300's not gonna fit. I wanna do the 300 though, so what if I... Don't need that. Don't need that, and I think we can get it. Or no, we're going to be off by a tiny bit. Probably some ammo we don't need. Can ditch these. It's usually arrows that take up a bunch. I'll regret that. One of these days I'm going to grab a bow and think I have arrows for it, but it's fine. Let's do the... It really doesn't matter which one, to be honest. I, that's why they only came out with one variant of the muzzleloader, by the way. Because you can customize it anyway. So we'll get the this one, and then we will customize. See what we can make it look like. Can you show the gun customizing? I sure can. So there's three different parts or slots that you can customize on this one. And the first thing I want to show, because I was going to do a video on this, maybe I still will, but I attempted to and my mic wasn't plugged in, so rip that. Um, so there's laminate wood here, specific to New England. You have to own the New England DLC to have access to these two things. If you look, you can only put it in part one, the part of the gun that would be wood. So I think those are the only two right now that are like that. Um, but I expect to see more of those down the line. Zaggy, thank you for the 47 months, by the way. Welcome back. 12 times many months. Hope you're good. Merry Christmas and all that jazz. Same to you, dude. Appreciate you stopping in. Let's do, let's do, let's do, what about digital camo? No. <laughs> I guess maybe we can do the fall forest. I don't like customizing the barrel. What's part three, though? Like the bolt and the sights? I mean, we could do everything like this. I don't like that. Nope. There's nothing that looks good on the metals right now other than, like, if you did do all digital. 
I think that looks okay. That's not too bad. What about... Nope, don't like that. What about... Nope, I kinda... I kinda think, as far as the barrel goes... I might go all digital. That looks amazing. Yeah, I really like the, the options. Get this leaf spray. That looks like nothing to me. Bark spray? That's not bad. So there is one issue. If you look really close, a bit of the old wood is visible just on this side. Let's go with this though. I kind of like it. Uh, Karmika, thank you for the 20 months. Has it really been 20 months? It has. Doesn't seem that long ago I found you. Hope all is well. Same to you, man. Hope you're doing good. Good to see you again. Let's see if the 300 solves our woes with the me. Should we... Mm, nah, should be okay. If we get to the end of Moose Drink Town, we'll go and find some, some ducks. I can make my 300 win mag? You can. I still think we need some, like, metal finishes. Because I don't see, like, a lot of realistic options when it comes to, like, what the gunmetals can look like. But if you do something like this, that's not it. If you do something like this, where, like, it's kind of a wrap almost, that works in my opinion. When is release? Tuesday. What's up, the Animal Shack? I wish I had literally any of the other outposts unlocked, but we'll go from here. Maybe it's just a personal preference thing, Soup, but there are those solid colors. They, they're they all, like, none of them have any shine to them. I don't know. Like, I wish there was, like, a stainless steel and then, like, a your, you know, stereotypical blued finish. Because you have some guns. I think, um, the 243 handguns are kind of like that. They're not that blued color. They're more of, like, a stainless steel. Like, I'd like options like that, your, your regular, you know, standard metal finishes. Matte metal? Yeah, I'll, I'll try to show before we're done what I'm talking about. Need a top load rifle in Call of the Wild? Like an actual rifle, or like a muzzle loader? Are the custom skins out? That will be a part of the update on Tuesday. I'm curious if the colors stay the same when placed in the lodge. Ooh. Don't let me end the stream without checking that out. Is this going to be free or will you have to buy it? Um, the ability to customize weapons is going to be free as will... Let me think what all comes with it. All the new species go into the old maps. So like, uh, for instance, Grey Wolves to Medved. If you own Medved, Grey Wolves are going to be on that map. You don't have to buy anything. Um, if you own Rancho, Pronghorn are being added. If you own Leighton, Mer Merriam Turkeys are being added, I believe. So all that stuff's going to be free. The New England map itself is going to be a paid DLC. I don't know if they've announced the price. I think it's going to be $7.99 like always, but, you know, I, I don't know if they said it. If they've given official word, then you can go with that. It's always been $7.99 every time they release a map, so I would like to think we can... Oh my god, a level one! I would like to think we can... Uh, Based on that. That might be the smallest mill I've ever seen. Missed opportunity to add sheep to Yukon? It kind of is. I do concur. Okay, so 300 seems fine. Um, Mulligan, am I saying that right? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Thank you for the super chat. When I saw this announced, I was so hyped for an England map, but then I realized it's New England in America. It is, unfortunately. I do understand that. Smoked. Big mail. I don't know if the video is ever going to come out now, but I might as well go ahead and spoil it because it's not that big a spoiler. I had some prep videos for this weekend for rifle hunting in real life. And now with this coming out, obviously, you know, I'm going to focus on getting content done for this. But there was another level one bull moose that I had found and I was like really excited about it. It's actually smaller than the previous one. This might be that. Is that even a legal bull? I don't know, don't tell Doc. The biggest of males? 
I wouldn't mind if they just made all of this easily crossable, but, you know, realistic creeks and rivers have variable depths. They did do something with reflections, like, that's brighter than it ever was. Do you think all the new maps are a little too similar? I guess I don't... Did I run by it? I guess so. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Like, I don't find New England similar to Rev and Tuli necessarily, but maybe that's not what you're talking about. This antler bouncing thing as you run close is not my favorite. 62. It might not actually be smaller than the last one. In fact, it's not. So that video, whenever it may happen, is going to still be fun. Uh, Carmi Guy, thank you for the Super Chat contribution to the engagement ring whenever you decide to get it. How kind of you. I appreciate it. Let's sack this guy. Because this is going to be the perfect opportunity to use that, um, the new multi-mount. I like it. Okay, so I still want to test frontal shots with the 300 now. He's huge, the biggest male I've ever seen. Uh, in terms of the landscape and animals and things like that, are they too similar? Maybe a little bit? I kind of think, like, this map... I don't look at it too much in terms of, like, really anything to do with the map. I'm looking at the update as a whole. All the backfilling of species to old maps, the weapon customization, the... Great One Moose and all their variations, and like, you know, the Whitetail model rework and all that. I think the map, to be honest, is kind of an afterthought. If I had to guess, the this is a complete guess. So, understand that what I'm saying is not any official information, and it might not at all be what happened. I think, probably, the, the developers wanted to do some quality of life stuff, but the higher-ups in the company or, you know, whoever is worried about the bottom line, because somebody has to be worried about that in a company or they lose money and fail, probably wanted there to be a new map and something to sell. So, I think possibly like a agreement is a map like this where they can still do the quality of life stuff, not have to make a bunch of new animals and models and stuff like that, and still have a new map. Complete guess. I could be completely wrong. But I think that could be why they took this approach of doing a map with pretty much all old species and just doing the, the map itself. Go smack one's butt. Why are you obsessed with moose butts, man? Kind of freaking me out. Can you face me? I want to test something here, sir. Much slower animations with the moose, a little more realistic. I think, I think the muzzleloaders oofed, to be honest. I kind of like this. Next up, can we get scope customization? Because I need my scope to match my gun. Hey, look, there's the deer again. I want to see it charge you. I do want to get one to charge if I can find out a way to make that happen. Told you it's a dud. It might be the gun. Might be. Oof, Malone, that there, Moose? Is that a new pop culture meme is that a new moose rack it's not it's um I think it's a little like true racks influence it's particularly wide for this particular rack now this is one we've had the lighting in this could be better be one criticism I have and I don't know if it uses like the current in-game lighting or how it chooses like what it looks like but I would prefer you know just just give it ideal lighting make it 12 noon or whatever you know the best lighting in that harvest screen could be moose with the quail for the new multi mount the circles are weird circles like the little floating things let's do another frontal shot I gotta, I gotta switch these. I cannot stop getting the shotgun. Is there a 17 in the game? There is not. So it's funny that they're not dropping with a hard shot. 
Even though their health goes down immediately as if they were going to drop, they're still running a bit, and I don't mind that. Like, you shouldn't be able to drop a moose with any shot, really, other than the spine. But, I, I don't know if it's like an animation? I also prefer Transparent Cycle. I do, I think the inspect screen that they have should be as it is, like with that gray backdrop. But I, I wouldn't mind if the rest was transparent. Can you like auto run and claim stuff now? Because I don't think you can. Let's try. Uh, I didn't even hit the button. Well, you can, but you can't see where you're going. Yeah, the 300 is hitting them just fine. I can tell you what I'll be grinding moose with. Jackson said they got death animations. It kind of... To me, it just looks like they'd run a little bit and fall over, but maybe I missed it. One out of twelve because the moose aren't charging every three minutes. It's probably good, but I wouldn't mind a little extra aggression. Well, the weapon camos require the DLC. So, as far as I can tell, the weapon customization is free, but the options in that customization are parts of DLCs. So, let's say you own the Medved Taiga DLC already. You'll have access to like a winter camo and a particular solid color because of owning that. Um, but you won't, for instance, have the... I don't know what kind of camo this is, but maybe for Hunga or Quattro or possibly Rancho. I'll just hold it so you can see it better. Like this camo you can see on my 300. You'll have to own a particular DLC to have that camo to be able to put on the 300. I kind of like that approach because then it's you can match your guns to a reserve but at the same time I know a lot of people aren't going to like having to own every map just to have a particular gun skin you know. Imagine if the camo mattered in this game. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Next thing please. Make it happen. These Mies are in trouble if I got the 300. They're moving so fast after I shoot them, I lose sight of them, though. The moose on here would be Steve Ranella-ing us. That was hard to say. Even though you never want to, like, wound an animal, that's one of my favorite episodes. They handle that really well. What all animals would be on this map? So, I don't know the entire list. But... I'll name at least the ones I can get off the top of my head. Moose, black bear, white-tailed deer, gray fox, red fox, green-winged teal, raccoons, bobcat, bobwhite quail, uh, ringneck pheasants, mallard, golden eye. There's more. Let me keep thinking. I know I'm missing stuff. Camo on the sides? I don't have the option to do that. At, le at least not the scope, if that's what you mean. Am I getting charged? I shot you before and you didn't die. So that was the... It's not really a death animation, they just run forward and die. Um, that was the charging animation on Classic and I really thought we were gonna get charged. Yotes, I think you're right, yes. I think I did miss turkey too, yeah. Eastern turkeys on this one. What kind of ducks are you? Goldeneye. Oh, there's Eastern Cottontail too, yeah. They do have a new death animation? Am I just missing it? Because like to me they just run eight steps in Ragdoll. We saw it on stream, okay. I must just be missing it. That's not a bad one. I still feel that the lighting is lacking. Look at the widget? The widget. A widget on Verhunga, I think you're saying. We go for all three great one of this map. 
Um, probably not. I'm still trying to determine if I'm going to grind for the Great One Moose on this map or not. The river does seem very good. Um, but it may end up being more time consuming than anything. We'll have to see. I'd like to. Like, this is this would be a very nice map to get a Great One on. Like, the screenshot potential, just because of how good the map looks, is very, very, you know, appealing to try to get one here. We'll see. Let's get it out of this lake, see if we can maybe get some uh, duckaroos to come in. That bino thing is horrible. Is it not the most annoying thing? I'm genuinely, like, trying to come up with a way to... In my videos, I think I'm going to put a black bar along the bottom. But it's going to take so much editing to do that. Ugh. <laughs> Every time I use my binoculars. There's the list without spaces. Kyla has it. Rip, thanks, YouTube. I'm not a fan of inflating species this with waterfowl, like on this map in Reventuli. Yeah, but some people really like hunting waterfowl. I'm kind of, like, I'm mostly with you. I don't much care for hunting waterfowl. Like, I do it because I want a diamond of everything. But waterfowl aren't something that I, you know, I don't jump out of bed on a brisk February morning when I have nothing better to do than play Call of the Wild and think, ah, oh, I can't wait to shoot a duck today. Like, that's just not why I play Call of the Wild, but some people really do like the waterfowl hunting. Mel likes the waterfowl hunting. So, you know, it's something for everybody. That is also true. Birds are very good for managing your hunting pressure. Duck hunter and love the waterfowl they have. See, that's a good, it's a good balance. Any new clothing? Uh, where did I see? I think there is. We're gonna get to this lake, see if we can kill some ducks, whatever meese are here, and then I wanna go back and look. I swear I read there was. Any nice scoring animals? We had a troll bobcat that broke my heart. Chased that for 20 minutes. 12 new bugs so far. There's some issues, nothing like game breaking, but certainly frustrating. Revolutionary War outfit? Maybe I can get a mechanic outfit to go with the cars. Did you customize a weapon? Yes. Got our 300 here, looking all fancy camo. I'm not sure I love the camo pattern I went with, but it kind of, it's a type of camo that I could see fitting like a barrel and a stock, so I just did that. Uh, we also have the shotgun. I kept the metal the same as, there's a coyote track, the same as normal and then did the camo pump. Got our 243 handgun, which I'm kind of a fan of, but I don't like the white. This is what I'm talking about, by the way, Soup. I'm going to just shoot nothing here so you can see it. See how it's just matte? Like, it's not shiny. I want it to be shiny. Multiple me's on the same mount? No, actually. I was surprised about that. The multi mount is a, a quail and a moose. And you've got, like, multiple things. It's like the moose looking up at the quail in wonder. The quail landed on the moose's nose, on its forehead, on its back. There's a bunch of different little poses. I, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use it. Maybe if we get a great one moose, maybe we do it. I don't know where I would do it. Like, I'm running out of room for stuff like that. Got my first diamond the other day. A water buffalo. That's a cool first. Congrats, man. Anodized, not polished? Yeah, that's the word. You don't like quail enough to use it? I've got that random diamond quail that we killed, which is a female, which is I don't think any longer a thing, so it's kind of like a special little legacy thing. You're doing great back there, Shadow. Um, Maybe I'll make the multi mount with it. I don't know. Oh, I didn't look. I think it's a male quail. That's a very great point. I never even thought of that. Now I got a fun other diamond quail if I want to do that. I don't want to look for another one. Maybe we'll get an initial spawn. How about that? It should have been at least three birds with a moose. I wouldn't have hated that. Are there any meese sitting out here in the open? I hear some ducks, but they're not the right ducks. Small meese. Would have loved a rare just sitting out here. Does your progress erase if you reset your skills and perks if you're still working on them? Uh, no, it just gives you the perks, perk and skill points back to spend elsewhere. It does, of course, cost you some in-game money to do that. 
Mallard's up there. I don't... I hear something else, though. Or so I thought. Well, excuse you. I don't know where those ones came from. I wanted to see that death animation, and I keep forgetting to watch. Wasn't there one, like, way over there? If there was, I no longer see it. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try to set out, um, the decoys. And just see if we can get the right kind of ducks here. I don't know if they're going to exist here. They may or they may not. Can I? That'll be fine. Not trying to get too technical here. I kind of like the little UI for the um, decoy placement. So typically, if you're at all in the right area, you set these things up and within not that long, they'll come in. Did I not? Oh, I put it in six. What an odd decision. So there's a chance there's just none around here. Oh no, that's them, I think. Let me in my blind. Uh. Yes, cool. See if we can take a look at some duckies. Something else to look at is gonna be the geese calls from Revan Tuli, because they all sounded like Canada geese, which was a big complaint. I wonder if maybe that's been changed. Yeah, these guys are bigger, score-wise. I can't even promise that I can look at these and be like, yeah, that's different, but maybe some of you guys will be able to tell. Should we let them land? I'm kind of thinking we may. Holy, this is a good spot. Got Goldeneye. Got Mallard. These guys surely are going to land at some point here. Possibly on land, but they shouldn't. Can never find the perfect spot? It's tough, it really is. Are the decoys different? They are. There's a green wing teal and there's Eurasian teal decoys. They are different. Gonna land. I don't know that I can tell at that distance. I, They might be a little lighter. I kind of think there's a difference. There was a bigger one. Somewhere. Okay, the Mallard's just gonna... They're just chilling. They're doing their thing. Where was that thick fella? Don't want to let them sit for too long, because they could always just take off. That wasn't the one we were looking at, was it? It's probably up in there, but... Can I find where? Doubtful. I hear them over there just making their sounds. I mean, that's a level two. Let's let's get that one. That blood splatter is something. All right, if any fly over us, we'll try to pop them too. But I'm not too worried. I just want to see what the model looks like. Duck, duck, teal. Are you guys different than the Eurasian teal? If so, it is hardly different. So much blood. I mean, we did it in the lung, right? So, makes sense. They are different? See, this is why I need mail here, because I would never be able to tell. Noticeably? Oh, this, this looked bad on me then for not knowing the difference. I don't have one in this lodge. So I wouldn't be able to go and compare. White on the side? Go let you guys point these things out. Uh, is the new waypoint placement via binos working? Yes. 
See the stripe on the side of the breast right here? Also a white line under the eye, right in there. What if we do... Let the... Just in front of the wing. Yes, there, okay. Do they have the orange butt feathers? That's what they're called, right, scientifically? Butt feathers? I I don't either, bottom boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm lucky I know it's a teal. Well, that's good then. Good on them. I will be honest, I thought they would just make them the exact same and call it a day. What did I have to do? Oh, somebody wanted to see the waypoint. So, you know, this is a little too close, but you press R and you can see the waypoint. It's high for some reason. And it may be, if you look at the binoculars right now, you can see that line underneath, like the the overlay of the binoculars isn't working right. So every time I, where did that one go? Maybe I just erased the old one. Every time I place it, it's just a little above where I'm trying to put it, but it's close enough that it at least kind of gets you to the right area. Definitely needs to be worked on, but it's not bad. All right, well, we're through moose drink time. We got about 20 minutes. Let's just head up like into the middle of nowhere here. See what we find. Um, ooh, look at that. They're really leaning into the Great One theme as being like, I'm gonna screenshot that in case I want it for anything. Um, but they're they're really leaning into Great Ones as being like the, the thing to go for in this game. New clothes, thank you. This is what I need you guys, I can't. There's too many things going on. Okay, I I can't promise there are, but I thought I read that there were. So would they be in the store? Clothing. There's none there. It's possible. It might have been weapon customization stuff that I read. These are all things we had. No, I don't see anything new. Let me check. I don't know if it was an email. I can't remember where I even saw it. The market thing just in binos? Are you asking if it works like with the rangefinder? Let me. Uh, where did I even see that? I swear I saw like two. Wait. There it is. Okay. So. This is in regards to the granite update. I hope I'm allowed to say this. I'm pretty sure they gave me the information. Um, the granite update is PS5 and Xbox Series X and S getting the frame rate boost to 60 FPS and the backfilling of other species onto old maps. So the thing that I was that I read that I thought was clothing that is not is the weapon. So. What they say here is we're giving all hunters two free themed cosmetics for each reserve they already own, one paint and one camo. So that is in regards to the weapon customization. So we'll do the, I don't really like what I did with the 22 here. Um, so you've got for each map that you own, a paint color, so Hirschfeld and Brown, and a camo, Hirschfeld and Spur. Then you've got like Quattro Net, you've got Leighton Lake, Woodbark, and we'll do that for everything. I didn't see this one. Oh. I dig that as a 22. All right, we're doing that. That's our new 22. I like it. And I will bring the 243, it's fine. So no new camo, unfortunately. Uh, does it work with a scope? Nope, because you reload. <laughs> It may... Can I rebind it? Ba, 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 ba. Probably not. I don't think. So I'm thinking it only works with binos. Why the bolt on that thing so chunk? Oh. Because? There's a moose loose about the hoose. I guess he'd have to be a Canadian to say that, right? 
Are they adding a gun with a new map? The muzzleloader, but we used it a good bit today. I, either it just sucks, or there's something wrong with it, because every moose we shot frontal, it looked like it wasn't even hitting them. Like, I wasn't even finding blood. And then we'd use the 300 and they were all dying, so it's not like, you know, I, I can't aim. <laughs> every shot with the 300 was good. Big meal. Quit your elevation change and it screwed me up. What is the keybind called? I didn't. There is no keybind for it. As far as I can tell, it's like, there isn't one. Because I'm looking. The only one that says R is reload. Everything else on here. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm dumb. There is one. What about. What be a. Ooh, what would work? X? I don't think it works with a gun. What about just... Nope, gotta be an optic. Yeah, that works just fine. Right, I'm gonna put it back to R then. It would be nice because, you know, uh, you think of something like Way the Hunter, you'll shoot something and, and you want to mark exactly where it was. You'd like to do it while the scope's up, not have to switch weapons. Is it a nerf gun or nerfed gun? Both. The white skin on the 243 looks kind of plastic. Yeah, I, w I was going for like a, a stainless steel finish, but it just... It doesn't look like that, sadly. Bind it M4 or 3? I don't think it's going to matter what I bind it to. Like, it, j it just doesn't seem to work with a with a gun. I'm waiting for my moose great one track of up to 700 kilo. I really don't want that to happen because I, I'm not sure if we can save our progress or not. When does the mail come out? I think about 7.30 on weekdays. The map? Is that what you meant? Um, Tuesday, if you're... Asking about that. Maybe your aim is just kind of 12. Maybe you're just kind of 12. You ever think about that? I really want to see one of these new whitetail models, like an albino or a piebald, just on foot. Kind of wish you had to grind camos like Call of Duty. Surely they're going to do that, right? I would hope so. You know, like a, uh, a, a unique camo pattern for, like you said, 150 kills when crouch, and then, you know, another one for 150 kills standing, another one for 150 kills prone, and like all that stuff. It would just incentivize doing something different, right? Are you turning like the other guy did? I'll be close to a lung. I, I'm not sure. You got me there. Headshots for new camo could be all kinds of things. Let me see a fluffy fox. I'd like to find a red fox. Everything I'm seeing is a gray fox. Oh, nice, Matthew. That's pretty cool. I didn't even look to see what the blood looked like. Did I just run right by it? Or is this it? Ooh, that one's not dying. Alright, up to Champney Ridge, quite the name. You liking the open rivers? Yeah, I'm gonna have to, to play more with it and see what it looks like, uh, moose grinding wise, but it intrigues me, to say the least. Unique skins for completing certain missions? Yeah, the only thing that, like, like I hope if they were to do that, they wouldn't just, um, retroactively at it like I, I would hope they come up with new missions because you know a lot of people have all the missions done and stuff and I feel like it would be people would care about them more if they actually have to earn them not again max weight bobcats we're getting close to the end of the stream and we've kind of accomplished the things I wanted to so we can at least follow it 
tree stands along the river. There you go. I like it. New missions on new maps. Yeah. How's the map feeling? Pretty good. I like the... The terrain and stuff. Like, you've got a lot of different... Types of terrain you're hunting in. You've got, like, the creeks or rivers. You've got the mountains. You've got bobcats that lead you all around the map and make you lose your mind. Watch it be diamond. I mean, it'd be fitting. Looks like a forestry map? Kind of. How was your hunting in real life? Well, I got a doe on Sunday. I was really, really happy with the footage of that one because I, I wasn't even going to attempt to film it with my main camera. I was going to use the scope cam, which it's just never as good footage. I just turned it on. I was ready to go and it died. I was like, well, I'm not going to get nothing. So I got the regular camera back on and got it on it. and That footage ended up being pretty good. Only a mythical this time. Um, and then my brother got one last night. Another doe. No bucks have been smoked just yet. That shot was terrible. That's a little better. Which map do you think looks better off of First Look This Map or Evan Tooley? Like, actually looks better, like, appearance-wise? I, I prefer this one, but... I think they both look very good. There's a red deer moose up there. That was a big one. It's not much smaller than the troll. He's got that same sly look about him. I don't know. I think they're in cahoots to make me look bad. I'd like to see CC Twitch Trots with their own customized skins. There you go. See, there's a lot of stuff they could do with things like that. I chose a light color for the metal on the 243. I did indeed. How many dough tags did you get? I forget how many I bought because... I think I got two for here, which I really, I, I only wanted to maybe use one or two. Like, I got two, and I think I got Kyla two for here, just in case we're having a really good year at this property. I've hardly hunted here, because all of a sudden, our target buck back at my parents was daylighting in, like, mid-October. So it was like, okay, I guess we're hunting down there every day. By the way, uh, almost got him November 13th or 12th. I called him in, and you guys will see that on video. I'll, I'll let that story tell itself when it comes time but anyway I think in total it was five or six and I filled one so far so uh might be eating tag soup this year again excuse you do you mind hey a lodge that moose was over there saying like hey <laughs> don't run by it have you seen any rare fur types in real life? Um, we had a piebald running around at my parents' property five years ago, six years ago. It was a doe. I was going to... Like, I was actually hunting it and hoping to get, like, a full body mount or something done. Cause it was like a calico piebald. It wasn't like a, you know, there's a little bit of white on the side type of piebald. Both my brother and my dad were like, well, I'm not paying $2,000 for a full body mount, so I'm just not going to shoot it. Guess who, of those three hunters that I just listed, guess which two saw it in broad daylight with a gun in their hands? Not me. So, uh, there was that, and then I've seen, like, five different albinos over the years. Never while hunting. I did see that piebald while hunting. Uh, once as a doe when I was actually hunting it, and then, like, a ton of times as a fawn, and I just wasn't going to shoot it as a fawn. Tag soup, I try, but he's too fast. You just gotta, you know, make him take an arrow to the knee. Go see Guns and Lodge, we will. How was hunting in West Virginia? That was fantastic. Shot a buck on the second morning. Uh, it's the first time I've shot a buck with a bow on film. I had one other bow buck prior to that. Uh, what, three or four years before I started filming? 
So that was really cool. I'm super happy with the footage of it. It's not perfect, but as far as the self-filmed bow buck goes, super pleased. Um, there's a ton of cool footage. I was just watching back some of it this morning. Uh, I thought the reaction was cool. Bottom Boy was there with me, and then like his reaction was really cool. So I, I can't wait to put that together. That's going to be my favorite episode. I know that already. Uh, how big is your biggest buck? The one I shot last year uh, at this property was... 180 and 6 eighths gross, which is absurd for Pennsylvania. Can you try to get a moose to go aggressive? I don't know if we're going to have time today. We're kind of quickly running out of time here. We'll see. Biggest is 146? Hey, that's not bad, man. If you take away my 180, I my biggest is like 115, so... That's my state. Congrats. It's much earned. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I gotta give all the credit to Bottom Boy and, and his family, though, because, like, more or less all I did was show up, basically agree, like, yep, this stands in a good spot. His dad put it there, actually. I found that out later on, so that was really cool, too, like, getting to talk to his dad and be like, he said, like, he hung the stand specifically for deer to come from there, and I don't think he, he said he never even hunted it. And it was, it was just a neat deal the way that it all worked out. Um, Micah, am I saying that right? I certainly hope so. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. New map looks dope. Ran past level 9 brown bear on Riven Tule and couldn't get a clean shot. So I let him run and couldn't find his zones. Trying looking for him uh, for his drink time, but he never showed up any tips. I would say I, you're, I would do the same thing you're doing. Check during the drink time if you don't have a zone. Uh... If that's not working, you can expand your search, like check some of the surrounding lakes or surrounding bodies of water. And if you're still not getting any luck, I would just go back in daylight. I would go back around the same time and just start looking for tracks. Look for a max weight brown bear track. If you can find that, I bet you can find him. <laughs> he prefers his box down the holler below with his buddy heater turned up. There's nothing wrong with that, man. It was cold that morning too. I think it was. I had. I know I had my heated vest on. I don't know if it was in the 30s that morning or the morning before. It was chilly. I know that. When my bro was little, he thought saying a 115 deer meant the deer had the antlers of 115 feet. I thought it meant. This is dumber than that. I thought it meant height at the shoulder, but I thought it was centimeters, not inches. Which still doesn't make any sense. It's close, but still doesn't make any sense. Only friend is the buddy eater. Hey, if you need a buddy. Oh my god, are you serious? What are the odds of that? No, don't you run. I should have just shot it. I literally wanted to see that. That was like picturesque. Curse you, reticle that looked prettier with no reticle. Come back here. Do you know a good area slash county in PA to see fishers in real life? Can't say I do. I've never seen one live. We had one on trail camera here, but I've never seen one, like, you know, on foot. Five bald buck? Yeah, it's a good way to wrap up. Perfect excuse to go back to the lodge and see what the customized weapons look like when hanging in the lodge. Almost clutch? If only I would have shot it. Start talking about the devil and he shall appear. I guess, right? Uh, yeah, we shot a green wing teal, Nicholas. They are, in fact, different from the Eurasian teal. I wouldn't have known that, but fortunately, everybody in here is much smarter than me and knew that they were different. There he is. That's cool. I like it. Much better. And I don't think that, I don't think the piebald pattern is different, but it fits this model better. Got a jet working phones about to die. No worries, Timothy. Appreciate you stopping in. Hopefully, we'll catch you in the next one. I hate to shoot it on the run because we made a terrible shot on the run just earlier with the Su 43, but yeah, they might stop out in the open here. Uh, he might not because he didn't go that way. A 
That'd be a cool species. Add fishers to the New England map. I'd like that. So happy to catch you live. Glad you can make it, man. You're just in time. We have somewhere in front of us a piebald white-tailed buck. We're going to attempt to make that dead. Hopefully sooner rather than later. And then we're going to go back to the trophy lodge and take a look at the guns and what happens with the weapon customization. There's, there's some change to the lighting again for sure, bottom boy. They've done like spatial lighting changes multiple times with updates, but you definitely do feel it with this one. I don't even see his tracks, but he's got to be with them. Ooh, a little laggy in here. If he cuts through here, we're taking that shot. That's him there. Ah, he's going to be too far down the hill. They know how to hide, man. What is your favorite map? My favorite's Layton, but I've got to say, this is the first time I could ever have a favorite be taken over because this is kind of Layton, but with some of the other things that I always wish Layton had. Like, this is a better looking fall map to me. And I think we'll have to see how some of the hunting is on the map, but I think it's really got the potential to become my new favorite. I just like, you know, it's, it's similar to where I hunt in real life. Not exact. Ooh, it was too high, but it's going to be a spine shot. <laughs> I don't think we can get to keep it anyway, so that's fine. Uh, Daniel, thank you for the super chat. Greetings from Morgantown, West Virginia. Hey, I had the... I don't know if I drove through it, but drove right by it on my way down to where we hunted. You guys think there's a chance I clipped the liver or lungs there? Smoked. A snow-covered white map? One day. Wouldn't that be cool? I'd love that. A buck's chasing animation? Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's vital blood. I meant to do that. I'm good at this game. <laughs> Neat. New whitetail model. Piebald on the first hunt. Good deal. Let's take a look. We got... Oh, spinal cord and double lung. Just how you draw it up. That's cool. I can't wait to, to mess with this in Photoshop and see... Because I'm not sure how the antlers are going to turn out. Better lighting on them would certainly help. I definitely prefer the face shape. I think it is only the heads that really got any change. Some weird lighting stuff. Can you guys see that? Like right in there. A black hole forms. Anyway, let's, uh, let's tax that. We are just in time, basically, to make this a two-hour stream. Clutching it. Is this a free build? It's early access, yes. Okay, we'll go back to the lodge. A magnet to awesome trophies. Something happens in early access where, you know, the map likes to show off all its cool stuff. He's cute. Gun is cuter. That's what we'll try to do. We'll see if we can put the, the gun right beside him. Let me in. Kind of random that anyone knows Tiga Deer are in Maryland. I did. I've been looking into potentially hunting in Maryland in the future, and I'd love to maybe get like a chunk of property where I could hunt both. I don't know. Is that possible? Are the whitetail in Maryland and Tiga Deer in the same place? Let's do. I wanted to do full body mount. Where can I do handguns though? Oh, could do it right there. All right. So, piebald lead. Looking majestic with the new models. It's just a much more realistic face. It, it fits it really well. And then the real question. What happens when you attempt to place, if you pick the right spot, a cuss Ooh. Does it work? Oh, that is well done. Props to the devs on that. Because I, I, there was no way in my mind that was going to work. Good on them. That's impressive. I truly did not have any faith at all <laughs> that we were going to be able to do that. So, can, I, I assume you can only do one? Where's the 300? Well, it'd be cool if I could find it. What's it called? Can, canning? Something? 
Yes, yeah, so you can only do... You can't have, like, 12 different customized ones, I don't think. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with Trophy Lodge stuff. The Rack Bob is really bad. That, needed, that needs fixed. That's really good work, though. I am thoroughly impressed. That was one thing when Wolverine asked that. There was no chance I believed it. Uh, that they would do it. What happens if you change the colors on your carry weapon? As in, like, if I leave this here, we'll, we'll, I think I understand what you're saying. So now if I go and change the 300, what does it look like when we go back? Is that what you're asking? Release Tuesday. New multi mouse. It's a moose and a quail, actually. We'll take a look at what happens there, and then we'll wrap up. And then we'll go try to shoot a piebald buck in real life, because that happens, right? Da, da, da. So we're going to go into storage. Does it update with the new colors? Let's find out. We'll do a, another camo build of some kind. I didn't hate the digital. But I kind of, this looked good too on the 22. Yeah, for the sake of speed here. Let's go find out exactly what it does. Is that right, Soup? Is that how it works? <laughs> Do it. Try it. We shall find out. Ah! I locked myself out. Might as well go hunt an albino tiger? Yeah. yeah. That should be easy. Moment of truth. What happens when you change the color? Is that rack bob is horrific? Okay, so it does update. So you can only have one of each, and it will live update to whatever you've changed it to most recently. I kind of think that makes the most sense. That's pretty sweet. Like I said, we're going to have to customize every single weapon and make this lodge, or the main lodge, look even better. Anyway, on that note, that's going to do it for this stream. So the plan is, I'm going to put out some kind of community tab post to kind of nail down the schedule over the next couple days and see exactly what we're going to do. Can we see the multi-mount? Yeah. Um, but, there's going to be a video tomorrow at the regular time and I think we're going to stream on Sunday. Again. And, and take a further look at the map. We'll see. But, uh, that's what I'm thinking at the moment we're going to do. But I like, I like this map. I like the update as a whole so far. I'm very impressed. There's been a couple times where I'm like, okay, Probably they didn't do that, and then they did. They, they've done a very good job, so let's see what else we can discover going forward. But we've got ourselves a piebald after getting trolled at the beginning. Maybe that's the math's way of saying I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, thanks for being my test dummy. No worries, Wolverine. Glad to, glad to assist. I'm really glad you mentioned that. That's something that I did not expect at all. Anyway, on that note, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support today, and I will see you in tomorrow's video back on New England. And uh, hopefully we can continue where we left off getting good stuff. Bye!